What's up everyone? Good morning. Good morning. Happy sunny Wednesday. Let's get you the view while we're waiting for our friends to jump on here. There we go. Low tide again. It's gotta be a full moon. The tide looks super low. Looks super low. Who's getting on? Who's getting on? Wednesday morning, it's about 75 degrees here in Long Island, New York. We are over here on the Woodmere Dock. Oh, there we go. We got some friends coming on Woodmere Dock down here. All right, all right. All right, we're starting to get some people here. Who's that, Ann Marge, Uncle Frank? That's Ann Marge. We'll see you out in the Hamptons again this weekend. All right, all right. So, Wednesday edition, we ride at dawn. Today is the 30th, so this is 30 days in a row, nonstop. We've been riding at dawn. Uh, we've been doing it longer than that, but I took a break at Memorial Day, so um, right after Memorial Day from the 1st to the 30th, every day, 365 days. So, every morning, I kind of wake up with an idea in my head and I turn on my podcast and I see who shows up. It's kind of like a random uh, thing. And this morning, my buddy Thomas Keenan showed up in my podcast. And uh, Thomas Keenan and uh, Ryan Steuben showed up. The two of them showed up. Actually, Tom showed up twice. But uh, the common theme um, that is just, uh, I think, a common apex theme, the group that I'm part of, is uh, the force of average, right? And that we have choices. So every morning, every day, every minute of the day, we wake up and we have a choice to either be average and just exist or to uh, do something great. Um, it's, it's a common theme, we all talk about it. FYE, F your excuses, uh, don't be average. Um, it's uh, a lot of us choose to just exist. And um, basically you gotta ask yourself, what are you giving to the world? What, uh, what, what does the world get out of you? What are you giving to your friends? And at the same time, um, who are your friends that you're surrounding yourself with? Um, do your friends push you? Do your friends challenge you? Do your friends hold you accountable? Do your friends call you out? Um, a shout out to uh, my good friend uh, Jessica and Benny too. Called me out yesterday morning. Put me in my place, which I needed. And um, I appreciate that. Um, do you sugarcoat things for the people in your life? Or do you tell them how it is and help them grow? Um, you gotta keep it real and make sure that uh, you're pushing everyone to be a better person. Make sure that you're giving back to the world. Make sure that you're supporting the people in your lives. And um, avoid being average, you know. Just, we were put here in the world for a purpose. God put us here to do big things. And um, just existing, just, just going day by day in the hamster wheel. Uh, you're not serving yourself, you're not serving the world. So uh, jump out there, get some stuff done, do the work. Um, don't make excuses. Hold yourself accountable, hold your friends accountable. Make sure the people you're surrounding yourself with are pushing you to uh, be the best you can be. So that's today's message. Beautiful Wednesday morning. And of course it's Wednesday, so Father Eugene's here. Sure. Morning, that's Father guys. Eugene. And then uh, Greg. Greg's in the back over there. He can't get enough, so he's jumping up and down off the, bleat, <laughs> off the uh, benches and whatnot. Yeah. Uh, Greg, uh, last Friday, completed the uh, Murph Challenge. Did over 53 mile run for the Murph. That's a fundraiser. So that was uh, last Friday. Greg is definitely not average. Um, Greg's a beast. You see him running through town with the flag. You know, I haven't seen you running through town with the flag lately. You still doing that? I did uh, like the week before. I did, did you? Did. Yeah. 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 You, you see, runs through Malvern with the flag. I was more in Westwood. Training. Um, I think he's got up his game because we're not seeing him enough. He only did 53 miles last Friday. It was only 53. So, uh, Greg is someone that pushes me. Uh, I see him out there killing it. So, this morning uh, I gave him a little little shot and said, let's go. And uh, 
he rose to the occasion and we're here so uh but uh, how much money did you raise on the Murph? 3200 3200 bucks raised for charity on his 53 mile run that is not average that is what we do that's how we give back to the world and that's how we do big things that's how we push each other so uh that said let's get on to prayers because uh time is kicking and we got to get to work so uh, we get we get to put uh, Greg on the spot now. Father Eugene. Yeah. <laughs> silent prayer. Follow the spot. Silent <laughs> prayer with Greg. <laughs> silent prayer. It's already a sunny day. Already sunny. And then we thank God for the gift of life. We thank God for the gift of another beautiful day. We thank Him for also the company we keep. Ryan, Greg, and then all our friends here and out there. Unlike uh, Brian said, the sky is always said to be a limit, but uh, we said the sky should be a certain point. Yes. And so aim high and higher, and then whatever that comes will be your best. So continue to pray for the best that God will give us the strength to always aim higher and do our best and when you give in your best the result is always the best and so we pray in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thank you name come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil Amen. Amen. Mary, full, full of grace, grace the Lord, Lord is with thee. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Jesus. Holy Mary, Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now, the hour of our death. death. Amen. Amen. Lord, listen to our prayers as we come to you this morning and always in the silence of our hearts, in our difficult moments, in everything we do, that you may be dear for us to strengthen and to encourage and also to bless. We ask you to bless everyone today, protect your people as people and all of us go about our businesses and activities. And we ask you most importantly that you will take care of all the families that are in great grief, especially the combo uh, house collapse, and that God will continually do his miracle and uh, heal all those in the hospital bless everyone out there first responders as they continue to do their best most importantly we ask you god that we will always be there for one another today and always and whenever we call upon you in faith may you always answer us you will live and reign forever and ever amen, amen. the lord be with you may the almighty god bless you father son and the holy spirit amen amen thank you all all right, all right. Father Eugene, with the inspirational prayer in the morning. Um, Father Eugene, tell us about what's going on in your home country. Father Eugene's from Nigeria, and back in uh, Nigeria, it doesn't seem to really make the news that much, but um, there's some bad stuff going on, and uh, you know he mentions it in his prayers at times, but uh, just let everyone know what's kind of going on there. Yeah, it's a long story, but I'm gonna make it a little short one. Um, so has it been a very difficult moment for my people back there in the eastern part of Nigeria or the southern part of Nigeria because of the activities of the herdsmen and then also government sponsored the military and the police uh, outfits. Fortunately, uh, a lot of injustice taking place, no meaningful development and uh, my people are excluded from whatever that is happening. I know, yeah, life is very difficult when somebody is in power and uh, intoxicated, it becomes a problem. So some section of the country, the northern part of the country, controlled by the Fulanis, would want uh, everything to be concentrated on in, in the north. And it doesn't give anybody any uh, joy or life in the country. The way the country is going, especially no meaningful development in some areas and every resource is coming from the south and then the south is uh, also neglected and uh, um, segregated in everything about Nigeria. So 
what we need is let there be a kind of not a kind of let there be uh, equity uh, justice in everything they do there uh, remember the people and uh, make sure that the development comes and the youth are employed um, and then people can come together and uh, discuss and resolve their problems everything is not all about force getting all the youth or everybody's men and then putting them in a bus do away with them kill or incarcerate them without any meaningful um, justice uh, it's not the uh, solution to the problem so we are asking the international community anybody that cares to look into what is happening in nigeria it may not be a problem to anybody now but if you escalate it becomes a global problem because people are gonna be displaced and then people also will be affected in one way or the other so we need the international community to look into what is happening um, call the government to order and then let there be a, a common uh, discussion and the uh, people also allowed to uh, add their views and then uh, talk about their rights and get their rights and then everybody will be happy so my prayer is that things will get better it is not really good for now but uh, we continue to hope for the best and so thank you brian for allowing me to make this a uh, little input and then that people will also understand people should come together injustice to one is injustice to all so that's my belief and i believe when we come together and uh, talk about things and uh, resolve issues everybody goes home happy yes thank yes. you yes yes that's uh just point out how blessed we are to live here you know we have our issues here in the united states and uh, all different things that kind of happen, but uh, we kind of kind of take for granted what goes on in the rest of the world. Um, some people are really struggling. Um, you know, our our worst day here, our worst day here is their best day in other places. You know, stuff we take for granted. You know, being able to be free to ride our bikes in the morning to go see stuff like this. Um, you know, people would kill for that. So, count your blessings. Never take life for granted. Live it to the fullest. Go look into uh, Nigeria, look on what's going on over there. Um, if you have any influence uh, politically, maybe you can help. Sure. Um, basically, there's a holy war going on, really. It's right. It's basically, you know, it's going on for years. And, you know, rather than uh, be holy and work together, uh, it seems like people try and uh, impose their power on others. Comment out through history, it goes on every day. But just remember how lucky we are to live free in the United States. Yes, we have our problems, but uh, for the most part, uh, the best place to live we're blessed and um, we take that for granted a lot so don't take it for granted live each day to the fullest don't be average you have a choice every day get out of bed ride at dawn uh, you know we ride at dawn has become kind of a, a little catchphrase and uh, I kind of use it for everything in life you know what life gets hard we ride at dawn I'm tired we ride at dawn my legs hurt we ride at dawn we ride at dawn no matter what goes on just uh -huh. keep riding at dawn just keep keep on keep it on and keep trying to do big things, Try, keep trying to be your best self. So that said, I get some messages there. You learned a little bit about Nigeria. We try and uh, add some value to your life every morning. Uh, we got a shout out today, Mikey Mattress. He's doing a 4th of July sale. He showed up in my news feed on Facebook this morning when I flipped on my phone. So I opened my drawer and I found a t-shirt and we shout out Mikey Mattress, Hempstead Turnpike, West Hempstead. Tell him I sent you. He'll hook you up with a good deal on a bed. Good dude. And uh, all right, everyone, we thanks Greg, where'd he go? 53 miles, $3,200 for the Murph, for charity. He is not average. Follow Greg's lead, go do something great. All right, everyone, happy Wednesday. We'll see you soon.